Oh. Hi. <laughs> Thank you How you doing? so much for coming on the show. We were so excited that you were here. And before we start, I have to ask what your message is to young girls like you who have a dream but don't know where to begin. Follow your dreams. You know, break those glass ceilings, be resilient, be strong, and you'll get there. Oh, Chef Rowe, I mean, you really <laughs> are the example, so it's really amazing to ask life advice from you. Um, okay, will you take us through what we are making today? The title is my favorite. So this recipe is called Don't Be a Jerk, and it's basically <laughs> a, crab, a crab cake that I marinated in jerk marinade seasoning. And why is this dish meaningful to you? So, you know, I was raised by a single mother. I don't know my father, but what I do know is that he's Jamaican, right? So I just really wanted to tap into the Caribbean side of myself. I love it. Okay, we're really excited to learn this meaningful personal dish from you that really is original. So teach us, Chef Ro, what's first? Yes. Okay, so easy. I have my crab meat in the bowl, all right? I um, have some lemon juice in there ready. I'm gonna add my one egg. To it, the egg is going to be kind of like a binder. Um, I have my beautiful pre-made jerk marinade in here. This is going to be the seasoning um, to our crab cake. It makes it extremely moist. It makes it extremely spicy. So we want to add all of that in there as well. Of course, Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers are my favorite. Um, so the Ritz give it some texture and it also gives it a little bit of sweetness because that jerk is so spicy because of that scotch bonnet pepper, right? So I got all of my Ritz in there. And of course, we're gonna season this with some salt, give it some love, and finish it with some black pepper, right? And then we're gonna mix this all together, Drew. So I have my gloves ready. If you want, if you have a rubber spatula, if you wanna get in dirty with your hands, it's all up to you. I do have a rubber spatula, Ro. I actually I just made it, and it says, make something beautiful, love, Drew. So. <laughs> oh, I like that, I like that. So I'm just mixing this all together. I'm using jumbo lump crab. So you don't really want it to be shreddy, but you just want to mix it together so everything holds together. So um, what I have here is my pre-made crab cakes. Okay, I used a ring mold just because I wanted the crab cakes to be the same size as my Hawaiian toasted rolls, right? Once it's formed in the ring mold, you're going to take it and you're going to put it on that plate of panko. And that's going to be like that extra crispiness on the outside of our crab cake. So I'm just gonna take this yep. and move it on. Use your hands. You wanna push out. Yeah, you can do that. You can slide it right on there and then use your hands to push it out of the ring mold. Exactly, right? And then slide it up. Perfect. That's exactly what I did. For the home cook to do such a professional restaurant level like move, like a ring mold, right. is really exciting. And then do I wanna add the panko on top as well? Yes, so I put panko on top. And then I flip it over just to kind of press it, press it down so that it has this nice coating, right? And then that's gonna stay in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes minimum um, or overnight ideally so that the egg binder, the rich crackers, everything can just solidify together so that you have a beautiful crab cake. So we're gonna go right into our, I'm using corn oil. So you wanna go until it's golden brown and delicious. So about 30 seconds on each side. So Drew. Drew, once you get golden brown and delicious, I just want to come and I want to blot this on a paper towel just to get that excess fat off, okay? I'm going to land right on the bottom of my Hawaiian toasted bread. So what we did was we made a jerk mayo, right? Because I like my sandwiches with mayo. I made the mayo from scratch. So I had my oil, my one egg yolk, and I added some of that jerk marinade that we made in the beginning for the crab cake. And I'm just gonna lightly put this on top of my bun. And then a little tomato. Would you like me to put Whatever crab Whatever you want, you first? can get creative here. Exactly. Chef Ro, do you, how would you like me uh, to pile? In what order? Bread? It's all up to you, Chef. This is where your creativity comes in. You can use any kind, any, anything. You can use onion. You don't have to do onion. You can do whatever you would like. You can do pickle, whatever you prefer. So you make it how you would like to eat it. I'm, I'm gonna say that I really am piling on. I, I'm a, I, I like the accoutrement. I like onion and um, I like what feels like a restaurant burger. And, right. And 
I can't wait to try this crab cake. Okay, here I go. You ready? You go for it first. Let me know. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. This is the best crab cake I've ever had in my life. And I'm a crab oh, cake thank fan. thank you, Drew. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I'm glad you like this, Drew. Chef thank Rowe, you. I'm so honored. Do you think we could do this again? Uh, listen, call, call me. I'm here. It's a date. <laughs> it's a date, Drew. I'll see you soon. Ah!